Hello, beautiful. Welcome to my channel. I'm Jody, and I'm glad that you're here. I'm here at a new consignment shop today. It's called Finders Keepers. I've got it right here behind me. It is a little gem in Clifton Park, New York. Let's go inside and see what they have to offer. Before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe right now. If you like beauty on a budget, looking like a million bucks, but not spending a million bucks, hit that subscribe button right now because this is your channel and I'm your girl. The first thing that struck me when I walked into Finders Keepers was the selection. Holy cow. They first let me know that they had a ton of different sales going on. So that was exciting enough. And I went straight for the 50% off purses rack. And I was looking at all the beautiful purses that were on sale and they were all 50% off. I was really taken by this beautiful H&M boho style vest. It was so cute, $15 and it was on sale. And then I was looking at some of the different scarves which were all very beautiful. What I found is that a lot of the items that were at this store were of great quality. This was a little wall pocket and I thought about getting it but you know, this is just not my style in my house. So I had to be selective. I probably could have walked away with anything in the store. It just really was that good. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so overwhelmed. I don't even know where to start. This place is chock full of amazing things. And like the sales, like there's so much going on on sale right now. Ah, I'm so excited. Now you know me and my coats. I found a $10 rack and everything on this rack was $10. I loved looking through it, but you'll be proud of me. I actually did not buy a coat today. I go through a lot of clothes and I take a lot of time looking here today. So please stick with me because we'll do a try on at the end of this video and it's well worth the wait. We have a great time in this store and you're gonna wanna see everything. It's just so good. This is gorgeous. Look at this. It's a long vest. Oh, wow. And it's $10. All boots are 40% off today and shoes are $12.99. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna have to look at this rack too. I honestly don't know where to start. This is gonna be a hectic video. <laughs> Check out these boots. They're my size, size nine, gorgeous, 40% off. Wow, those are nice. 75 dollars, these are pretty too. Eight and a half, size eight. Oh, these would be cute. Look at these. Oh man, I wish these were my size. I like these a lot. These are cute too, they're my size. $65, 40% off. Nice. I mean, can you believe these boots? They are gorgeous. The thing is, is I have a couple of cowboy boots and I hardly ever wear them. I don't know if it's just that I don't know how to style them really good or that I'm self-conscious because I'm not really a cowboy boot type of girl. I need to know how to wear my current boot selection before I buy any more. And then the $3 rack, it had me at hello. I had to go through all of the tops and skirts and all of the items that were on this $3 rack. And I definitely pulled several items to try on. A $1 basket. Who's going to deny looking in a $1 basket? I probably should have picked this up. It was beautiful. I could have put my little tchotchkes in it or whatever I needed. And then this purse was calling my name. It was so cute. But you know me, I really kind of, I buy purses, but I kind of don't use them. And this was just a little bit too big for me, but I loved the embroidery on it. And I thought it was so cute. Now I had to pick up 
a wallet today because my wallet that I have is starting to fall apart and I was torn between these two wallets. I thought they were both cute, both practical, both great prices. And then this little clutch, I mean, so cute. And if there was any purse that was going to get me, it was going to be this one. I actually really liked it. It was an over the shoulder crossbody purse. Loved the design of it. It was kind of like a triangle almost. And I was thinking about picking that one up. I put this one on and I thought, oh, do I need this one? You know, it's a nude color. Maybe I can add it into my collection. And then there's me saying, no, you don't need it. <laughs> but I still looked at more purses because, you know, who can resist? Purse is 50% off. I almost got this one too, but it was too big. Now, I will say I spent a lot of time looking at jewelry today. And the reason why is because Almost every thrift store or consignment store that I have been to recently, they don't have a good jewelry selection. This place had an amazing jewelry selection. I liked these earrings. They had the roping of the gold and then the pearl on the top. The only thing is they were pretty heavy and I didn't want them to pull on my ears. So I kept looking. Those were cute with the butterflies. I contemplated getting this pair for quite some time. I actually walked around with this pair for a good time. And then I eventually decided to put them back because I do have something similar. And, you know, I wanted to find pieces that were unique. This is gorgeous. Look at that with the shell and then the seed beads. So pretty. I thought it said $45, but now as I look back at the video, I think that necklace was $18 and jewelry was 20% off. Another thing I liked about this store is she had it so well curated and staged. I mean, look at this, a beautiful bust with all the different brooches on it. I mean, when you look at it, you really want to just stop and look at everything that she has to offer. And as I'm looking back on the video, I see I even missed things. And I was there for like two hours. reminds me of a ring I have actually. Oh yeah? yeah. I think that was a men's ring. I'm not sure. Yeah, because I have a yeah. women's version of it that yeah. it's pointy. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's got a polka dot song. So. Oh, oh my god, okay. look at the jewelry <laughs> yeah. in the case. It's like absolutely gorgeous. Look at this squash blossom. I've never seen one in person. Yeah. This is amazing. That is gorgeous. Look at that necklace too. How much are you, you beautiful thing? So gorgeous. Even, oh, look at that bracelet right there. Oh, that one right there. So pretty. 
Oh wow, look at that one. They're gold gilted. This is koi and they're all um, uh, jointed. Oh wow, look at that. Very, very fun. I love the eyes. <laughs> the <laughs> eyes are just so fun. Look at him, he's just like staring at you. Yeah, he's fun. And then <laughs> this one here is gold. Isn't this lovely? So pretty, Dooney and Brooke, 145. And then all of this jewelry on the wall. She's got such a great collection of consigned items. I don't even know where to start, woo! Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Apple USA. So pretty. Oh, I love her. So pretty. Wow, I wish I had a formal event to go to. That's pretty stunning. That's gorgeous. Oh, wow. Look at the back. I love that. Well, this is a cute little waistband for this dress. So cute. And what's this behind here? Hmm, you might be pretty too. Oh, look at you, are you gorgeous? Oh, wow, that's so pretty. This is a cute little summer dress. Love it. So pretty, Karen Stevens for $24. This is another cute little dress. <laughs> She's gonna tell me where to go. <laughs> and there are She's so cute. Oh, yes. While this store was rather small, I think I spent more time at this store than I do at some of the larger thrift stores that I go to, just because everywhere you turn, there are things to look at. And I just wanna know from your perspective, did I miss anything? 
Make sure you take some time while you're looking at this video and let me know if something sticks out to you. Because I'm telling you, I probably could have been in the store another two hours and found some new things that I missed. There were a couple of nesting bowls that I thought maybe I should get those black and white ones that you just saw. And then, you know, I also did love some of the brooches, but I have a ton of brooches. I don't need any more, but you still can't help it. I have earrings, necklaces. I don't need any of them. I have enough to last me a lifetime. But for some reason, I just can't help but look at them and add a couple more into my stash. I will say this, if you are in upstate New York, you have to put this on your trip list because it's so fun and so welcoming and you have a great time there and you always see something new, obviously, because it's a consignment store. There's always new items coming in and you might even get to meet this cute little puppa right here. She comes and visits every once in a while. So this is a Ralph Lauren suit jacket. It's $38. Um, I'm not sure I like the fit on it, but it's so cute. Look at this pocket. That's just really kind of classy and stands out, but I don't think it's, it's for me. Also, the arms are a little short. This sweater is by Catalog Favorites. It's $18, but is on 50% off. It's cute. I just don't know if I would wear it more than once or twice but it's definitely cute. I love the elephant. Look at that, it's so precious. <laughs> this shirt is by Croft & Barrow. It was marked as $9, but it was on the $3 rack. And I really love the accent right here and the baby pink. And I think that these are really good shirts to put under suit jackets, which I wear a lot at work. So for $3, I'm definitely picking this up. This skirt, this skirt is $10. I'm not sure who it's by. It's definitely too oversized for me, as you can see right here. And I've been looking for a herringbone skirt, but I feel like it's just way too busy and brings too much attention to the bottom half. So she's gonna stay here. And this skirt is by Roz and Ollie. It's $16, but half off. And once again, I feel like I'm drawn to prints, but I don't feel like they look good on my bottoms. And unfortunately, I've got a bunch of prints over there to try on, but we'll just keep going through it. Fits better though. And this is a Calvin Klein skirt, was $10, now it's three again. I'm not enjoying the fit of it, which makes me upset because it actually fits okay. It's just my situation right now where I don't feel comfortable in it. Very cute though. This is by Dress Barn, new with tags, $34.99, but it is on sale for $3. It is much bigger than I am, but I'm wondering if I get it brought in or bring it in myself. I don't know, I just really like the fabric. I think it's cute, but I just don't know if it's me. That's too bad I, bad. I really liked this one of them all, but yeah. This was on sale for $12. It is now on sale for three. I actually don't mind this. It's a little big around the waist, but with a suit jacket, I can imagine this, like with a camisole or a suit jacket, this might actually work. I, I tend to like darker colors on the bottom. Maybe, we'll see. These slacks are by Talbots. They were marked, I believe, $12, but they're on sale for $3. E I don't like, I don't know. I just, it's big around the waist. Also, it kind of highlights my legs a little bit underneath. Yeah, I don't know. This skirt is by Allison Taylor. What's so funny about it is, well, first of all, it was $10. 
it's on the three dollar rack what's so funny is that it doesn't fit around the waist but the slip underneath <laughs> is too tight to go down so i around my hips so i can't even see what it looks like with the but the waist is too big so i don't know i probably have to take it in and still i don't know if i really love it it's cute though i'm trying i'm trying <laughs> So this is a New York and Company top, and it's marked nine dollars. It was on the three dollar rack, so I'm hoping that it's three dollars because I do like it. I love the pattern, um, and I love the fit of it. It's very cute. It's a basic, but not. So I really love this. <clears throat> so I'm going to walk okay? away okay? with the Croft and Barrow okay. uh, top, sleeveless top. <laughs> I'm also going to take the New York and Company blouse, and I found some great earrings. These are pearl and gold, and then these got the little rhinestones, and then silver, because I wear silver a lot, but I love the door knocker style. And I'm also going to get this wallet, because my wallet's falling apart, and I thought these were so cute. We love to have cheese at our house, and this was like $4, so these have like little um, toothpick kind of things, and with the different cheeses on top. I thought this was really cute. So this is my haul for this beautiful store. I love it. I can't wait to come back. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Did you see all those great items that I got? A uh, little recycled bag right here. Finders Keepers was a lot of fun. And Kim, the owner, amazing. Absolutely love her. She is just so wonderful, outgoing and sweet. And you know, you just got to love a local consignment shop where you can see that, you know, people around the area are benefiting by sharing their items and you get to benefit because you get to get them. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe right now, because if you haven't already, we are going to be doing some amazing thrifting adventures, consignment shops, just moving around, looking for the deals. I really appreciate you. I love you so much. And I'll see you next week. Kisses. <laughs> Bye. Bye.